Hello friends and welcome back to Dew News. I'm your host, the King of Dew, and it's late. It's definitely past my bedtime, but the news is important to you, and so I'll stay up late. It's what I love doing, and so let's get right to it. Uh, first up on the news is uh, Factum. has got some pretty cool news out right now. And uh, if you guys haven't looked into Factum, drop what you're doing and look into Factum. I've been talking about it a lot, but I've never really dove deep into it with you guys. But um, Factum is absolutely one of my favorite coins because they are focused solely on real applicable business solutions. Um, and even the government is uh, very interested in Factum. Um, but it was announced, essentially, that there's a couple companies that will be working with Factum um, as a partnership of such to uh, actually um, essentially work with the Japanese social security system in order to uh, basically uh, make it more secure, prevent any type of uh, corruption and things like that of the existing system, um, and as in essentially decent, you know, actually create a immutable ledger, as they call it, something that is immune to uh, being tampered with. And uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, the other thing that you guys may not know about Factum is they're, they're also working on uh, what's what's also known as like a digital vault. And that's kind of like what they specialize in, really, when, when you think about everything that Factum does. Um, they, they basically are working right now on taking mortgage documents and basically making sure that they are locked up tight, that no one can change them on any side, and then 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 they exist forever, you know. Uh, someday, instead of having to take a bunch of paperwork home after you sign your mortgage paperwork, uh, maybe you just have a key. Maybe they hand you a thumb drive. Um, who knows? So that's pretty exciting. Um, but you guys should definitely uh, check out Factum. Um, it, what else is going on? Um, oh yes. If you're not familiar with Factum, um, they actually have been working with Homeland Security. Um, and uh, I'm just bringing up the Factum site so you can see uh, what's going on um, on their site. And so that when you find it, you know what it looks like. You just go to factum.com. Um, but they've also been working with Homeland Security here in the U.S. So these guys are, are playing ball with some very powerful people in the world. Um, they have very real solutions, and uh, you guys need to look into Factum. Uh, I think it's a great uh, coin to diversify your portfolio into for the long haul. Um, also, they tend to stay a little more stable um, when things hit the fan. At least that's what I've noticed. I am not any type of financial advisor or anything like that. Uh, I'm just giving you guys um, a coin that I like in particular that's available, um, which I think isn't valued properly. So let's go ahead and jump over to Marcus and take a look where Factum is right now. Uh, Factum is sitting down here at 24. It is uh, 271 uh, million right now. It's actually up about 10%. It had a nice run up here, uh, well deserved. I feel like it's f trying to find its new home right now, and uh, it thought it was heading down, but now it's uh, back up quite a bit today, 10%, and uh, that is likely on that news um, out in Japan right now. Um, so, pretty exciting stuff that they're doing. Uh, they have a lot of real applicable business solutions that a lot of these other guys um, don't have when you start looking what's around them. Uh, what they can actually deliver and so um, go take a look at it go take a look at factum um, and get to know factum better and tell me what you guys think about factum in the comments as well uh, moving on um, just wanted to touch base with you guys on nim i talk about nim a lot on this channel uh, nim is uh, expected to be delivering a presentation at the global blockchain summit and that is going to be uh, tomorrow and the next day. So I don't know if major news will break. We've all been waiting for Catapult's official release date, but um, we can already see that NIM, um, just on maybe the hype, is preparing here for a breakout. We're looking at 22 cents right now, and it's still number four, the Sleeping Giant. Um, 
as you can see we have a little bit maybe of a maybe of a flag building out here at some point it's going to break up or down um, and I know that most people expect this one to go up um, I actually uh, most people who have been around quite a while in this space longer than me believe that NIM is more valuable than Ripple now I don't know if that actually means they believe that NIM should be this value here this 10 uh, billion I don't think that's what they're saying. I actually think they're trying to say that they believe Ripple was significantly less. Um, and at one point in time, it was very true. It was very true that NIM was ahead of Ripple. Um, so things will shake out over months, over years. Um, but uh, NIM right now, uh, with Catapult coming out, is essentially uh, going head-to-head -head with Ripple. Um, it's uh, they're they're focusing uh, the new upgrades on uh, basically the financial system in order to get ahead of that. And there are um, a lot of businesses. I think it's 160. I'm only I'm trying to recall the exact number. I believe about 160 companies in Japan working directly with them. Um, also, they did have a, a presence and a booth set up um, in New York during all the conferences and things like that that were going down this last month so um, they're they're not just sitting around pretending to um, be a, a coin or um, you know they're not vaporware these guys are very very real um, and they got some pretty exciting things coming so I'm excited to hear what they have to say because we don't get to hear NEM talk much and that's mostly because most of the development team is you know Japanese and things like that so I actually really strongly believe that's one of the reasons why sometimes it struggles in value is that um, things just don't come across as easy as when Vitalik speaks right on Ethereum it's really easy for people all across the world uh, he, and Vitalik also speaks Chinese so <laughs> he can he can do an excellent job explaining and sharing uh, the beautiful thing that is Ethereum but you know NIM is NIM is, it's a little bit quiet it really needs some spokespeople to help everyone understand just how good the blockchain that is. Um, so anyhow, be looking for some news. Uh, it looks like the, the markets may be preparing already for uh, hopefully some amazing news there. Uh, BitShares has been something we've been talking a lot about. Um, my respect for BitShares has increases um, as I learn more about it. Um, but man, it is volatile still right now. Um, after that big run up, it's lost a little bit of its positioning. It was at one point uh, number uh, eight. Uh, however, I think that um, this iota, if you guys heard about this today, this is just a mistake, really. This uh, this new technology, that it seems like they're pumping it everywhere right now. It came out of nowhere. Everyone's asking what it is. Why is it number six? Why is it worth so much? Um, I'm not sure it's six cents, guys. Maybe that's what it traded at at one moment, but it's stuck. If this is turned off, so not really something that you should be putting uh, you know your money into right now it could be a decimal off to be honest yikes anyhow <laughs> it's like I'm not kidding guys um, let me know if you guys know much about iota I did look into it watch some some videos on it I understand what they're trying to do um, it's pretty uh, amazing technology but I also um, I don't have any real validation other than what people are saying about it, right? I need I need some some reputable community members to validate the code for me to become a believer. And so, if you guys have links to anything like that, uh, let me know because that's what I'm looking for on that. Uh, obviously, I'm interested like everyone else. What what's going on? Why is it out of nowhere? The story they have to tell is pretty amazing. So, IOTA is uh, the Internet of Things coin, and essentially. Uh, they, they claim no transaction costs. That's kind of a big deal. Um, so I don't know if that's true or not, but I, based on what I saw, I definitely don't see a 1.6 billion anywhere when I see it. Okay, so BitShares is holding up strong, um, which, is, which is becoming more believable by the day um, as I get to know it better. Um, Stratus made its run back up again. Uh, it had you had another opportunity to buy it in the seven range, it's being quite volatile from between about seven and ten dollars right now. 
Um, so, you know, if you can pick some up around seven, uh, it seems like that is a, a really strong support. It seems to bounce really hard off that. Um, Zcash um, is making a heck of a run. I was uh, blown away today. I uh, came home and I was like, what in the world is going on with Zcash? You can see this run. It's very, this, it's been going on for a while. It's looking very strong. It's hard to see them on, on your screen, maybe, um, unless you're zoomed in. But uh, we've been making a good, strong run uh, for the last few weeks, almost a month now. And uh, it's one to keep an eye out on, guys. Zcash uh, definitely has uh, a lot of advantages. And I've always talked about on this channel how miners have a say and miners have a vote. Well, let me tell you what. Miners are mining the crap out of this. Okay? That's all I'll say. Mining the crap out of it. If you aren't mining Ethereum right now, you're probably mining some Zcash right now. Let's be real. So, if that's the case, and miners run the world, right? Miners ran Bitcoin. Miners run um ethereum right now and it's like we have we the miner community has so much power in this space it, it can't go ignored um and we need to look at this very very seriously you guys need to understand zcash really well so uh besides that steam it looking beautiful up eight percent you guys know i love steam it and uh looking good so i wasn't planning on doing a market update but i just kind of got into it there and uh it's exciting stuff that's going on. Um, other than that, I just want to talk about Ethereum, guys, because Ethereum right now is uh, closing that amazing gap to essentially become the number one, um, the king uh, coin on the block. And that's really exciting. Uh, I, I saw somebody report that uh, Ethereum essentially is now searched more on Google than Bitcoin. And that just makes my brain hurt. Um, I have a lot of people coming out of the woodworks asking me about this stuff, wanting to know more. Um, and that's awesome. And uh, I hope you guys are sharing the good news. That's for sure. Okay, guys, uh, the other thing I wanted to go ahead and uh, share with you real quick is uh, this right here. I'm just going to bring it over. Is um, Gemini is now open in uh, Washington and uh, customers in the beautiful evergreen state uh, basically can buy sell and store Bitcoin and ether now um, now that may not mean anything to you you're somewhere on the planet and you're like Washington Washington DC no Washington the state that's over by Oregon over by California um, Washington State and New York State essentially have the most uh, regulations, I want to say, in regards to currencies um, in the entire planet Earth, right? More than any country, anything like that. Polonex Exchange actually left Washington just a few months ago. Literally was like, we're out, peace out. All you Washington people, we're not going to help you anymore. Shut down all of their accounts. Um, Gemini stepping up to the plate. Um, Bittrex already at the plate. You know, when I when I see all these people complaining about Polonex and all the trouble that it has, and guys, Polonex may have been the first exchange, but we all need to understand and be very careful that the the writing is on the wall. Not that maybe they're even doing anything wrong. Okay, I'm not gonna say they're doing anything wrong. Okay. I, I like to believe that everyone tries to do the right thing um, to a degree. And I'd like to believe that they're trying their best. But imagine that you started an exchange, a small, tiny exchange called Polonex years ago. And <laughs> it is what it is now this quickly. And do you really have the business chops to problem solve on the amount of scale that all of this is growing? Um, they clearly are not nimble enough. Um, they clearly have some type of challenges around maybe hiring support fa fast enough, or maybe they actually don't care. Maybe they think it'll blow over. But we all know that that side is what, making hundreds of millions or billions? I don't even know. 
Uh, somebody, somebody, let me know how much Polonex is raking in every day, please, um, in the comments if you actually know how much Polonex is making. But I just don't see them being nimble enough, um, and 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 if their reaction to overregulation in a certain state is, well, just screw everyone there, we're out of here. What does that what does that mean for you and where you're at? I don't know because every place in this planet is different. But if you're using the exchange, what what's to stop them from saying, "Hey, screw you! We're just not going to help you anymore." And there's a lot of reports of that kind of mindset out there. That they they seem to be putting off this aura of everyone's really angry at us, and now we're just angry at you, and we're just going to stay that way, and it's never going to get better. Instead of coming out and trying to be consistent with your um, you know, press releases on everything you're trying to do to help and solve and, uh, you know, have goodwill, right? Okay, so I just want to say all that because there are other options for you guys um, that um, historically are safer. Uh, Gemini may be one. Um, I'm a fan of Bittrex because of the background the leadership has in security. I believe that's a very important thing. Um, you know, if you're going to trade at all. But at the end of the day, guys, get your money off the exchange, into your wallets, uh, onto cold storage, um, encrypt them in raw files if you have to. Just whatever it is you need to do to feel safe. Um, if you have that much wealth, do it. Because you may not have it forever. All right? <laughs> this is a wild, crazy space we're in, guys. You just you just be safe out there. All right, so that's pretty much it. I uh, I want to thank everyone um, for all the votes and likes yesterday on my videos. I I didn't believe it was my best work, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, I, d I did what I could, and uh, I uh, am super super busy in my personal life right now. But uh, and that's why it's way past my bedtime. But I'm still doing this because it matters to me. Um, and you guys matter to me, and uh, I really enjoy the conversations that we're having. So thank you so much. Um, if you actually love this content, or maybe you hate it, either way, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, whatever you feel is appropriate. Leave a comment. If you have a question for me, if you want to share something with me, if you want me to research something for you, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Um, if you... Uh, um, also are on steam it we finally did it. we broke 200 thank you so much that is incredible and now we're cruising to 250 um you know i think we could hit a thousand maybe maybe hopefully we can hit a thousand uh soon um that's kind of like my steam it goal right now is a thousand so help me with that guys and give me some upvotes over there if you enjoy the content as well make sure you subscribe if you want to stick around and uh that's pretty much it for me today with the news so um as always guys i appreciate you so much i'm looking forward for ethereum to, uh to cross over that uh great mark of becoming the king coin and you know i'll be here for you uh bringing you that news when it happens that'll be an exciting day for the ethereum holders um it'll be a fascinating day for the markets and how they respond if at all all right so with all that being said guys i am the king of dew May the force be with you. You guys have a good night.